In 2005, I started here in kindergarten, and I started dancing in second grade with Mrs. Moore, and that was when I first started to realize, okay, this is something that I could do for sure, because I saw my teacher was teaching me dance, and then I was like, maybe I could do that growing up. But then she would also take us to performances, so I saw the dancers dancing on stage, and I was like, maybe I could do that when I get older. Maybe I could actually be on stage and be one of the dancers. Starting here at like five or six years old, and having that foundation of, oh, the arts is something that can possibly be an outcome for me at the end of this. That is something that really just introduced me to everything. Now I am the dance teacher here. <laughs> so it just came back full circle. So I started here kindergarten. I went to Baldwin. I went to BTW. I graduated from Alabama State University with a BFA in dance. And then I came back and now I'm the dance teacher. I think the arts in general is something that kids definitely need to use to express themselves. You can just have a little kid in your class and they don't even know anything about piano. They don't know anything think about choral, but they know they love to sing them. You can take that child and help them learn the techniques, the fundamentals. You never know what they could become. They could become the next Alicia Keys. They could become the next Misty Copeland. They could become the next Barry Washington. Like You just never know what these children are capable of, and they don't know. But as long as we see the potential, as long as we are pushing them, and as long as us as educators are just showing them that this is something that you could possibly do, regardless of what comes your way, regardless of what troubles you may have, as long as they know that we have their back, there's no limits to what they could possibly do in this world. I didn't know that. I just used to come in here, take dance class, just for fun. And then I used to leave, go home, probably watch TV all day long. But then once I got into middle school and I got into the Alabama Dance Theater and I actually started performing worldwide, nationwide, things started to be exposed to me and I started to see, okay, my teachers were really pushing me for a reason, even as I was three years old at the YMCA. There's reasons behind everything behind what your teachers are doing. So as long as the kids are exposed to it, and as long as they're actually having fun at the end of it too, but still learning. Harvard Elementary was the foundation for everything that I do th to this day. Everything that I have put my mind to, it started right here with Miss Moore, uh, Miss Hendricks, Mr. Van Diver, all of those people who are here, Miss Stewart, all of those people were my foundation. They have built me up. I still see them when I go to like an ASU football game and they're just like, oh my gosh, that's my student. I'm like, yeah, and now I'm taking what you have done and I'm putting it into the kids that you have done exactly for me. I'm giving what you've given to me and I'm giving it back to them. And I want them to see themselves as a teacher or even just as a performer in general or just as a stand-up individual. I just want them to be great.